the most challenging task. Uh, uh, actually, we were we have been very focused on the destruction of existing stockpiles, and the destruction activities uh, should have been uh, completed uh, last year, but it didn't happen. Uh, there were several reasons for that: technical, financial, and other. Uh, and the destruction will continue in the coming years. But uh, I think uh, the progress is quite steady. Uh, I expect that in three, four years maximum, we will ha have only 1% of existing stockpiles. So far, uh, we, we have been able to verify destruction of 82%, but we will reach the level of 99% uh, in, in three, four years. So that's a very, uh, you know, uh, a development that we I would uh, very much welcome. I, I've been director general of this organization for three and a half years, and um, since I'm re-elected now, I'm going to stay uh, four and a half years more. Uh, so I hope to see this uh, achievement uh, in in the coming uh, near future. And the second uh, challenge, and which is very important at the moment is the operation, the joint mission with the United Nations in Syria. And uh, due to, uh, you know, uh, difficult conditions on the ground, this is, a, uh, this is a country which is in the middle of civil war. And our experts are verifying and uh, actually working there. Uh, and um, they're in very risky uh, conditions. Uh, so they have done so far a very um, you know, successful, very uh, satisfactory and very courageous, uh, in fact, mission uh, job. Um, and they, when I asked them, uh, you know, those who came back, uh, whether they would like to return, they said all, oh, yes, we, will, we are ready to go back if necessary. And they are doing an excellent job, which um, actually I am very proud of them.